Welcome to Videorial WO7008, creating a template for a business letter that uses pre-printed stationery. Now, this Videorial follows on from a sequence of Videorials, um, which I did, whereby we create some artwork for pre-printed letterhead stationery. Okay? Now, you can find these on my website. Um, if you go to Digital Imaging Corel Draw, my website is www.videorials.co.uk. Um, the artwork basically would be sent to the printers. They would print the letterheads and send them to you. And whenever you need to send some correspondence, letters to clients or customers, uh, suppliers, etc., you rather than put plain paper into the printer, you put the pre-printed stationery. Now, most companies, good companies, use um, envelopes that have um, windows in them. So positioning the name and address on the letter in the position so that it displays in the window is actually quite tricky. And as part of the sequence of video reels, this last one here that you can see on the screen, video reels part seven, um, produces an image that we can import into a word processor to help position the text for the template, um, which we're going to produce in this video reel. Okay? Now, in this instance, the artwork and the letter are being produced to fit within this style of envelope. It's a standard DL 220 wide by 110 high with a window size of 30 by 90. Okay, if you haven't followed these video reels, the Corel Draw video reels, and produced the image, you can find it on this website when I've published it. If you go to Microsoft Office Word um, and look for this video reel, WO7008, this is for people who are watching it on um, YouTube, the file that you need will be in the bottom right hand corner here. Anyway, I won't dwell on that anymore. I'm going to go into the folder where I store all my um, artworks and things for the letters and the letterheads. I'm going to create a new word file. Now I'm going to do this using a method that I haven't discussed before in any of the video reels, and that is right mouse clicking in the um, window, new Microsoft Office document. Now the beauty of creating a new document like this is that you have to name it straight away, which is good practice. Um, quite often you'll open a new document, you'll start working away, and half an hour later you've not saved it, computer dies, you've lost the file. So really it's good practice to, um, to save often <clears throat> and to, to open a document in this way. So letterhead template, done. Just open that up. Now first thing we need to do is set, some, um, set the page size. So I'm going to go page layout, size. Now by default it's this American format. For this video, we need to set it to A4. Okay. I'm just going to hit Control S on the keyboard. Every time I do something significant, I hit Control S just to save it, to make sure that I don't lose anything. Um, I'm now going to start to uh, put it together. I'm going to insert the background image. Um, remember, you can download this from my website next to the video, video in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm going to go into the folder where I've downloaded it. Now it will insert the image and resize it according to the space that you've got available to work in. These are the margins, okay? Um, we're going to modify those in a minute to help position the text. But anyway, first, first things first, we need to position and resize this image so that it sits, is the perfect size for A4, 297 by 210, and it sits in the top left hand corner. Now we're going to have to do this in a sequence <coughs> uh, of moves, if you like, because of one or two bugs within Word. We're going to go, so if you double click on the image and then go position, more layer options, we're going to put it behind text, click OK. Next thing, we're going to right mouse click, we're going to resize it. Now I'm going to untick lock aspect ratio, I'm going to reset to 297, which is the height of A4, to 210. Close. So now it's the perfect size. We need to position it. So back into the position, more layer options. We're going to position absolutely according to the page. Okay, so we're going to position this to the page at point zero, zero. Click OK. Now we're ready to go. Okay, so just left mouse click either to the right or the left, just to deselect the image. You'll notice the cursor here. We're going to put the date, colon, 2nd of March 2012, enter. 
This is the recipient's, or the dummy recipient's name and address, Mr. James Tidy, 79 Mill Lane. From Suffolk, CB98HJ. For the purposes of this video, I suggest you just copy exactly what I'm doing. We're going to put a reference, which is something that you see on most business letters. Again, some dummy notification. Dear Mr. Tidy, comma. Now, we need some dummy text. Now, I'm going to get some dummy text from Lorem Ipsum, or Ip lipsum.com. It has a facility where you buy, you can create dummy text. I've created five paragraphs, selected it, copy. Now I'm going to go paste, special, unformatted text. Okay, now I'm just going to delete these extra carriage returns that it puts in. For some reason today, Word is running like a dog. Not very fast. Right, a couple more things. Enter yours sincerely, comma, two, three lines. This is where the address is going to be. Uh, John Smith, again, a dummy name, marketing manager. Now, that's all the text for the, the dummy text. We're going to format it now, get it to position. So first things first, you'll notice um, it's put this thing in. Sometimes Word puts extra information that we don't need. Just be mindful of that and get rid of it. Okay, it's put 0404 in. So I want to delete that, hit enter, just to bring that down. Right, we're ready to go. Now, um, I'm going to change the font. So to do that, I'm going to hit Control-A on the keyboard. Alternatively, you could click and drag, but it's much quicker to use the keyboard shortcut which is control A. I'm going to set the font to Arial and size 12 point. Okay, to get from here to here, I just hit the tab button, done. Now, I'm going to start to position it. Now, you'll notice these margins here. This is going to nudge, this, this nudges the text in according to whatever the margins are set to. Now, I'm going to give you some, we're going to reset these. Now, this will dip the settings for you might differ according to the font and things that you're using. So just bear that in mind. So page layout, margins, custom margins. I'm going to use 30 millimeters at the top, 40 at the bottom, and 20 either side. Click OK. Now what that's done is that's, shunted, that's reduced the size of the margins. Okay. At the, top, at the bottom, it's nudged it up. At the top, it's nudged it down. Right, we're ready to go very quickly. I'm going to make that bold, right aligned. Okay, this is bold also. I'm going to come down here and I make marketing manager bold. Okay, now one of the things that it's also done by default when we started to, to type the text is it's applied some paragraph formatting. Now, if I hit control again, control, control A on the keyboard again, I'm going to remove the space after the paragraph. That's going to get rid of any paragraph formatting. It's a, a blank slate, if you like. We're now going to apply our own formatting to help shunt the text vertically um, down the page. So I'm going to start by selecting this text here. And I'm going to go in here, line spacing, and I'm going to apply 24 point spacing after this paragraph. Okay, now that's shunted it down. Can you see, here's the extra space. I'm going to do the same to this text here. I'm going to apply 36 point before and 12 point after. Oh, I've just realized I've missed out the country. I'll just quickly pop that in. Now, all of this text here, right down to yours sincerely, I'm going to set to six point after. Okay, and that just adds a little gap between paragraphs. Right, we're nearly ready to go. Let's just capitalize the P. 
Now, you can see everything's positioned nicely on the page. So when you put your, your pre-printed stationery and print the letter, this area here will always print right in the, in the perfect place so that it will sit perfectly in the, in the envelope. So, dear Mr. Tidy, just check that. Looks good. Right, one last thing. I'm going to insert. I just want to make sure that this text here sits perfectly within the area when you fold the paper. So I'm going to insert a line. Now, I'm just going to click, hit shift on the keyboard. That constrains the angle. Let go. Double click on the object, and I'm going to go position relative to the page, and I want it to position 99 from the top left. That's one third of the way down. That's perfect fold. That's the, where the perfect fold will go. One third. If we folded a, a, sheet, a letter into three to put into the DL envelope, this is where the fold will be. Now, as you can see, the, it's a bit close. The Dear Mr. Tidy is a bit close. So what I'm going to do is select that text, add some extra line spacing, I think I'm going to add, make it about 22. And what that will do is nudge that down so that it's proportional either side of the fold. Now, that's it. So just control S on the keyboard. I'm going to delete that object. I'm going to delete the image in the background. Save the file. And close it down. We're ready to go. Everything in here is just template text. It's dummy text. Now, the idea being that here's the file that we've got. We now need to, at least in Windows... We can set this to read only, which stops people overwriting the template file. Now, the way we use the template file is that we open the template, and then we go File, Save As. Now, rather than use the word template, we just letterhead. I'll we'll just change it to letter underscore Mr. Jack Butcher uh, 05. 12, save, and what we do is we just go um, 2nd of May, and we just modify the letter, Mr. Jack Butcher, dear Mr. Butcher, and then we just add the letter, and then what we do is we just say go file print, Put the stationery into the printer, it will print onto the stationery and Jack Butcher's name and address will appear perfectly in the window of the envelope when you pop it in the post. Um, that's it from this video oil. Thank you for watching. In the next video oil, we'll be looking at how we can make this letter into a mail merge letter where we can send letters to, to, to many customers um, easily and quickly. That's it. Thank you.